Have you ever wanted to bring a new element into some drum tracks you might have recorded? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take live drums and mix them with samples. What that means is I'm going to take samples that are literally set to a specific meter and import them here and have them match the tempo of these drum tracks. Now, notice up here in the, the Melodyne's tempo menu bar in the top of the uh, Melodyne window, it says 129.18, and there's a little tilde sign there. If it was equal temp tempo, it would be an equal sign, but this tells me that it's a free feel performance. Let's take a listen. So as you can see, the tempo value was fluctuating very slightly. Now, what Melodyne can do is by importing audio samples, drum loop samples, to mix them and blend them in with these live tracks, it'll actually match that free feel tempo. Let's try it out. If you want to see your audio, by the way, here in the edit window, for example, if you needed to do some editing, again, all you'd have to do is select focus on that track. Here's my snare. Let me add my kick, toms, overhead right and left. Notice that they are here in the tracks. Now, that's because I've got my spread unison button on. All this does is take overlapping audio and present them in a way that you could see what's behind each other. It has nothing to do with pitch. These are percussion elements. So this is just a way to see what you're doing. And now you can group edit these if you like, or any one part of it if you need to. Now, to make these uneditable, just simply view, uh, just being able to see the waveform without editing them, switch to the gray icon that's next to the orange one here in the track panes. Watch as I do that. Now I can visually see the audio, hear it, but I can't do any editing. Now, back to our drum samples. Let me open my info pane here on the side, up here in the top right corner. And let's bring in some of these drum loops. But the first thing you want to do is take notice of this button here in the top of the menu bar. This is the auto stretch button. By activating it, any audio I now bring into this session will conform to whatever this tempo map is at that location. Again, that is really powerful. I'll show you what I mean. Let's select a drum loop and I'll drag it in here to beat one bar one. Now that it's imported that quickly, it's tempo mapped to the above audio. Let's take a listen. Here, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit on that dry cut sample track. Pretty cool, huh? Let's try another one. I'm going to right click on that track and simply hit delete. And you could do layers and layers of these if you'd like. And let's try another one. How about uh, this drum sample? I'll bring it up, bring it to B1 bar one. It's imported and time stretched and tempo mapped automatically. Let's take a listen to this. So hopefully you're beginning to see how you can add new elements to any kind of organic drum tracks you might have. This could work in sections of a song or throughout entire songs, whatever really brings out the best that you're looking for in your productions. Let's try one more. I'll mute that track this time and let's bring in one more and I'll drag it to the same beat one bar one and there. And again, I'm adjusting the volume here on that track to blend it in and give you a before and after sound. So that's another thing you can do. You can grab it here in the tracks pane or in the main track slider itself. There. So you can see how intelligently Melodyne is able to conform these samples mapping him to the original tempo map that it's detecting from the organic drums that we, we've recorded and we're displaying here. And it matches them perfectly to the beat. Again, you know, this is a real creative technique and it's actually fun to try. So now you know. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Carlo Libertini. Thank <laughs> you.